work. So without further ado, let's see how well Morgan can handle these things. She is, uh, I, I've used her, you know, a bit, not too much, but she's pretty solid. And the, those first two skills really are a lot like Castoria's first two skills, except the first skill is selfish rather than team-wide, although the charisma portion is team-wide. But being able to give 20% NP charge to someone and uh, raise NP raid is quite good. I'm gonna do this to really make sure that Merlin gets a lot of NP. I think using AoE and P, which Morgan has, I don't remember about Van Gogh actually, to clear the wave every once in a while is the best way to go. Actually, you know what I should have done? I should have used Merlin's invul. That's okay, we can use it now. I believe this is the skill that has team wide dodge. Or no, it's the second skill? Yeah, the second skill has the team wide dodge, so we'll make sure to use that properly. So, Van Gogh loses the one stack of the curse each time she attacks with the quick card after you activate her third skill. So, that's why I activated her third skill there. Might end up being Van Gogh doing more damage than Morgan. Let's see. Morgan does have the buff uh, CE that provides buff though. Alright, if we can get Merlin to NP once more, that'd be sweet. Oh wow. I didn't expect Merlin to actually kill that guy. So what does Van Gogh's NP do? That gives some fear. Attack up for everyone on the team. Crit up. Some sort of crit up for the team, and star gain per turn. Okay, so she doesn't do damage with her NP. That's fine. We're gonna need to take care of the rider soon, but I don't have to worry about that quite yet. NP, what's the overcharge effect? Oh, attack up. I think that's more worth overcharging. So we'll do that. We don't need the, need the arts chain because everyone already has their NP full. And the quick card from Van Gogh is gonna help, I think. Should take away the. called Curse from herself. She certainly sounds crazy, her voice. Very okay, nice. All 
Huh. So Van Gogh still has... I, I feel like I should use the Arts Chain. Either that or the Grave Chain by Van Gogh. But I think the Arts Chain, so that Merlin can get his NP back up, is more important. So let's do that. The more we can stack his NP, the better. Right there. Nice. Okay. We can get both of their NPs up next, uh, this turn. Okay, good. She's got the Buster Crit. See, I'm pretty sure her NP is going to be strong enough to kill the rider. So this way, I think we can help to take away more of the guts from Paul Bunyan. Let's see. She does have the event CE buff, so that is actually a big deal. I forgot about that. When I last beat this a couple days ago using Jean, Ar Archer Jean, I forgot. I used the wrong CE on her, and she didn't have any buff other than just the regular one she gets as the Summer Servant, which is not as strong as the CE. So I just did not enjoy the uh, the buffs much at all. Alright, let's try to get Morgan's NP back up. Raise the game ball. I think. Doesn't, I don't want it super loud, but a little louder than this. Alright, right, Morgan's got a good shot. Nice, Morgan's got her NP full. I used the Brave Chain for Morgan. Yeah, we're gonna use Morgan's Brave Chain this turn while we still have her Buster Buff from the Dick Wizard. I think it's worth it not to use Merlin's Arts cards this turn. And just count on him getting his NP ready soon. Damn, we might actually kill Paul Bunyan before we clear the entire uh, team. Like, all the other enemies. But maybe I shouldn't speak too soon though. Oh shit. That would have been nice if I'd managed to rip off. Another guts there. Uh, damage wasted. Oof, that crit. Yeah, I'll use this. That'll give us extra NP gain, and then let's do this. As much as tempted as I am to use the crit, uh, the quick chain, for extra crit stars. I don't think we need it for the extra crit stars. And the buffs that she provides to the team here would be useful. She should kill him, yeah. Nice. 
Okay, Morgan's got her NP up. Nice. I think I'll save Morgan's NP for another turn. This turn, I want to have Merlin survive, so we're gonna use that in draw. We'll do this to just get Merlin more healing and hopefully get his NP charged up again. Nice. Okay, good. Yes! Oh, that was quite lucky, having Merlin with the invul take everything. I have no way of protecting Merlin now. I can't even heal him further, so it's gonna have to count on getting lucky, I suppose. I could clear the wave this turn. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna clear the wave with Morgan's NP. We should be able to get our NP back pretty soon. This does this skill do again? Zone attack by ten. Alright. <laughs> yeah, I don't really know how to use Van Gogh properly, so I think I might have poorly optimized her. Oh, I should have used her quick cards first, because, yeah, Morgan's gonna clear the wave with the MP. She seems to get, get pretty little damage from the... the... Okay. So now, to prepare for this, we wanted to... People have dodges, don't have the invul to use. I'm gonna guarantee that we kill at least one of the enemies with the Buster Crit from her. And we'll use the cooldown reduction on her. So, and she'll get some massive damage out of it. Nice. So Merlin's definitely the one most in danger. The wolf attacks Merlin and then the um, Paul Bunyan's MP hits, then can die, but otherwise, okay, this is good because Van Gogh has class advantage and she has a guts, so she survives just fine. Okay, excellent. This works out. Still got 19 guts left. I'm gonna save Morgan's NP for after, so that we can clear, we can hit this Brigan who is right around the corner. Okay, let's muster. Okay, we're gonna go for the guaranteed crits. I was tempted to use Merlin's Brave Chain to build his NP up, but I think the damage here is too juicy not to take. Damn, they do seem to keep attacking Merlin there, huh? Okay. 
Alright, these quit crits, not quakes, should remove some of the curse from. From Van Gogh. Right? No? Oh, I think she's no longer under the effect of that first kill. That must be why. God damn it. Oh well. It's interesting how the order is going. It's going from the wolf to Paul Bunyan to the, the fire demon. Usually it goes left to right. Okay, Morgan has a brave chain. Yeah, fuck it, we're gonna go with the Morgan Brave Chain. She might clear the wave. Ah, so with ju just the NP. Actually, this might have been a bad idea, because if she clears the wave with the NP, she's not gonna get any NP back, which means we're not as well prepared for the Spriggan as we could be. Oh, no, okay, that's fine. No Alright, Art Sprit. And she's gonna be ready to NP next turn. Just from her own skills, even. Damn, stop attacking Merlin! <laughs> okay, we got Spriggan and uh, this guy. Oh, we can use another Brave Chain from or, uh, Morgan here. Fuck okay, it, let's do it. Let's use the Brave Chain from Morgan. Oof. We give more buffs to her using Van Gogh. Save it. Yeah, we can save it for another time. Ideally, after she is buffed with the hero creation for the extra buster buff. Well, let's see how, how much damage she can do against this brigand with the brave chain here. Good. Nice! Okay, these crits are monstrous. She doesn't even have a crit buff on her right now. Okay, getting rid of the Spriggan was huge. The Spriggan is really dangerous. Even without class advantage, just the amount of damage it can do with its crits is, uh, yeah, quite scary. Alright, down to the last three. That all healed. So Van Gogh's second skill, besides party evasion, yeah, nothing too fancy. The first skill charges NP gauge and provides guts. It's the third one that steals all the curses from all the buddies. While also providing attack buffs and such. Alright, let's do that then. <laughs> yeah, we'll go for hard damage here. Over 100k with that Buster crit. Right. 
Okay, good. We didn't want to kill Eric. Just wanted to damage him a bunch, because I believe when you kill him, he gets his uh, NP charge to fall. Okay. Now we do want to use Merlin's. I, I really want to time the that killing Eric to match when Paul Bunyan has her NP up. Okay, about this, the arts crit won't be strong enough to kill Paul Bunyan or kill Eric, but it should or break his bar. But it should soften him up a decent amount so that perhaps Morgan will be able to take care of business. Her NP. Yeah, she should be able to do 100 k Hmm. That's not good. That's the ship left anyway. Five, okay, not too bad. Okay, so since these other two are stunned, I'm gonna rely on Van Gogh's <laughs> dodge. To protect us this turn instead of Merlin's involve. We can save Merlin's involve for when Eric gets his NP up. And I'll use the case essentially. I think we can count on Morgan to break Eric's bar with just the NP. This way. We can rip off another one of Paul Bunyan's guts here with the rest of the hits from Morgan. Let's see. Okay, good. Yeah, we got the overgauge. That's what we were looking for. Nice. Sadly, the stun kind of messed with uh, the timing while defending against Eric's NP. So they're desynced, but we can deal with that. We can deal with that. We focus on Paul Bunyan or on him. Let's focus on Eric Bloodaxe. The amount of HP he has is just monstrous. And Paul Bunyan is going to take a lot less. Even if you count all the guts, it's not as much HP. Yeah, Merlin doesn't really need help to get his NP up. With the enemy hitting us and his own passive NP gain, he's gonna get his MP up. Getting close to the end here, and hey, Morgan's done pretty well. She has a solid support lineup, of course, but. Well, that's sort of what you want to give somebody in a challenge quest like this. So, I think it's pretty fair to give her the strong challenge lineup that she, that I can. Support lineup that I can. And, uh, yeah. See how she performs here. Okay, so now I can use her NP.
いい目に映るも目を背けないで死になさい、nice. I'm pretty sure Morgan's not gonna be able to kill Eric Bloodax here, but she should do a good chunk of damage and possibly kill Paul Bunch. So. Oh, good chunk of damage. Paul Bunyan's naked. They're both naked. Can we finish it off by having Morgan NP? I think we can, so let's go for that. We're gonna make Morgan NP. Yeah, unless we get obscenely unlucky, Morgan's gonna survive this turn, and yeah, you can finish it. Nice. So, well, there you have it. Well, I'm speaking a little early, but this is gonna be over very soon, I'm sure. But yeah, there you have it, Morgan taking care of the summer camp challenge. Oh shit! Okay, I did not think the art script would by itself be that strong. So, <laughs> That's a lot of damage. <laughs> Thanks to the deck wizard. Nice. Well, yeah, so the front team managed to hold off the whole way. Very well done by Morgan and Van Gogh. And of course Merlin. Can't forget about him, but... We always know that Merlin's gonna do just fine, right? But okay, we managed to get that done with her.